This is one of the most common issues we see in robotics, and this year our elementary team is experienced. So go ahead and show us what's happening. So as you can see, when they're trying to lift this carriage here, what's happening is their entire structure that holds it is kind of bending forward, and it's not allowing it to lift. Right now they've got enough power to do it, but it's just bending forward so much that it isn't like allowing it to do it. So we're going to show you some ways that we're going to solve this problem. So we want to make a big container where we can store a lot of blocks, so then we can dump them into the goals. But, um, so we added a lot of twerk to uh, carry the container. And then what did you run into when you added all of that torque? We ran into a problem where it was, like, it was too heavy and like it was breaking the lift up. We were trying to make the bin be lighter. So we, the floor used to be a lot of pieces and we made it only be a couple pieces so that it's a bit lighter. So we noticed that it's pulling the bar forward, so then we added um, these pods to drag it back. We're still working on it, but we're gonna like add zooms here and like there to make it like stop moving forward. Now the team has fixed it, and so go ahead and demonstrate what it does now. So you can see it's not like going forward as much as it was before, and it's actually able to lift it now. So what's one thing that you added that helped keep it supported. I added these triangular pieces. If you had a triangle, that's gonna be a lot stronger than if you just have like a square or a rectangle shape. Yeah. And then he just attached it here to here. That way this can't move back and forth. So what'd you add to it to help support so, it? So I added these parts to like support it to like make sure it's like going back when it's going forward. And I added them on the side so the battery could also, could also go out. Mm -hmm. We also um, made this like much more stronger. We added more of those pegs. Okay. So, yeah. so you added these, that way it can't like move back. What did you add to help support it? I sandwiched the gears because they used to be moving all over the place mm -hmm. because the motors were being pushed forward. So like one motor would push forwards, the other one would yeah. move back. So you also added so, this piece here, yeah. right? And that just prevents them from like moving like with, yeah. without each other. So they'll both move together, basically. And then also, if you're doing any type of gears, gearing up, it's always recommended to like sandwich them. That way they always stay together. They won't like slip apart. What did you do to help it? So we added like, um, th there used to be like an entire wall that was here mm -hmm. and that made it like really heavy. So then we removed like the wall that was here and then just made it two strips and then connected it. Mm -hmm. So then it could still like, it still had like a wall to like support, for to like prevent the blocks from falling out that way. But, um, but it uses less pieces and it's lighter.